Welcome to another Just Open It Already unboxing. The time has finally come. I've been dreading it, but I can't put it off anymore. I've got to get to some of these Power of the Force figures. If you're new to the channel, I've gone through one of many old containers of toys and rediscovered what I've been collecting for nearly 30 years. It's pretty much all in box, as I don't generally like to open this stuff up. I don't have much room to display it all, so I thought I would do this and document the unboxing as a new way to find joy in what I've been collecting all these years. And I have. I opened quite a few older Micro Machines and a recent clearance aisle haul of new figures. You can check those videos out if you like, but what I have discovered is that I really enjoy getting extreme close-ups on these toys and seeing all of the details, the imperfections, everything, the highs and the lows. Speaking of lows, there are a lot of opinions about this Power of the Force line, particularly some of these Leia figures. As my first container of mostly 90 Star Wars toys has several Princess Leia figures, I thought I might focus on those today. There are several two-packs from the Princess Leia collection, as well as individuals. Most seem to be from around 1996. I do have some duplicates, so I'll leave those in box, and I'll save the non-Leia figures for the next video. I also think I'm going to pull all of the red carded 1995 Power of the Force figures and save those for when I find the container in which more of those live. I know I have them, so I'll find them and open them up. As for these Power of the Force Leia's, let's just open them already.
Okay, let's go straight to the elephant in the room with these figures. Uh, this is the Power of the Force Leia figure. Uh, I think it is a re-release from the 1995 one, even though this was not a 1995 figure. This was on the green card uh, with the hologram uh, sticker. This was undoubtedly one of the, uh, and, and still is one of the, considered one of the worst Star Wars figures. Uh, I believe that many collectors refer to it as Monkey Face Leia. Uh, this is just... Um, I will, I'll say I'm glad I have it. And, you know, I can tell you, going back to 1995 when the first line came out, we were just excited to have any new Star Wars figures. So the fact that they all look really masculine... I'll go ahead and take off the, the cape and stuff. I mean, look at those gams. Uh, this is creatine Leia, and all of the Power of the Force figures look like that. I mean, you've got Buff Lando, you've got, uh, I guess, creatine Leia. This is, it's just a, the way they looked then. And we were excited because they were the first new Star Wars toys that you got in, like, about a decade. And so uh, everything else, trying to get stuff at yard sales from the original releases and and, you know, I grew up most of my childhood not having uh, Star Wars toys and certainly not having new ones. Um, and so we were pretty excited to have these, even though I was a sophomore whenever this stuff came out and I just kept it and I left it in the box. I didn't get it out to play with it. It was still nice having new Star Wars toys and I was pretty excited about it. But yes, this is a uh, about as bad as it gets uh, in terms of figures. There are worse, I'm sure. Uh, but this is not great. I'm not going to try and put the guns in her hands. They don't go in there too well. But if you want to compare this, this Leia is supposed to be the Leia from the beginning of A New Hope. Uh, and you see that this one in the two-pack, uh, which was released just a couple of years later, this two-pack Leia with the R2-D2, this looks so much better. Uh, the face sculpt, everything is better. This, uh, it's a nice little cloth fabric. And uh, the hair looks good, the face sculpt looks good, the paint looks good. Uh, R2-D2 comes with her, and his paint job looks really, really good. His head swivels, which is nice. And of course, um, I don't think that this pulls down or goes up like in some of the other ones. I'm not going to try and force it. Um, it looks like it wants to, but uh, it's not budging. So I'm like I said, I'm not going to force that one. I do have one that does that. Because I did actually open up one or two 1995 figures. And uh, I've got one that moves. But this one doesn't seem to want to move. But anyway, these look good together. And I will say that these two packs from the mid to late 90s are really nice. I actually, I really think the Princess Leia collection overall, you know, hits it out of the park. Uh, there are a couple of flaws. And I'll get to those in a moment. In fact, we'll start with the next one. Leia and Luke from the medal ceremony at the end of A New Hope. The figure for Leia, very nice. Looks really great. Again, we've got good fabric. Um, the necklace looks really nice in close-up detail. Uh, that I'm not, you know, crazy go nuts for all the, the jewelry props uh, in Star Wars, but I will say that that's a nice looking prop necklace. And the, the figure comes off nicely. Her hair looks good. We've got a nice extension material uh, for the hair there that uh, looks really good. And this Luke, though, this is one of the things I'm saying that's just not great. Uh, the Luke, I mean, he looks like he's popped his collar. The jacket is riding up so far. It looks ridiculous. And then when you actually try to put the metal on, it just kind of floats up there. It's hard to get it down. Around. It just looks ridiculous. This, so this is probably one of the fails for that. Uh, his blaster looks nice in the holster. It doesn't come out. He doesn't have any other accessories. They don't come with any accessories except for this. So maybe not the best uh, two-pack. Um, but also, they don't have to come with 14 guns like some of the figures do. It's kind of ridiculous how many figures come with all the blasters. Moving on to the third two-pack, we have uh, from Cloud City, Bespin. Leia, this dress looks really nice. I mean, there's a lot of nice little doily like detail uh, in this. Her hair uh, mold looks good. This one doesn't have the extensions on it, but this uh, it does look good. 
and the whole dress itself, you know, the material for it looks really, really nice. The Han that comes with her, I do, you know, again, there's another one of those like fabrics like where the, it doesn't look great because the collar comes up so high. Uh, but the face mold for Han, I think looks pretty good. I've got sort of a paint issue above his eyes on, on mine, uh, but I still think it's a pretty good two pack and he comes with his blaster. And so this is a good, this is a good one. All right, final two pack, and this one is outstanding. Uh, it's as good as the first one. Um, Wicket hits the mark. This is a good, this is a good figure. Uh, I do have another one just like it because the two pack of uh, Ewoks from the Power of the Force line also uh, comes with this same Wicket. Uh, but the Leia itself looks good. The dress is good. So she's in her uh, dress that the Ewoks gave to her. So we've got hair extensions again that look really nice on the figure. Uh, the dress itself, the detail, the gold um, or brass or whatever that's supposed to be, uh, it looks really good and highlighted really well, especially when you compare it to the three and three quarter uh, individual figure like that. This is supposed to be the same one. This is the same dress, same figure. Again, the face sculpt is not as good. Uh, the dress, the details, things don't look as good. She comes with a blaster unnecessarily. That version of Leia didn't have a blaster, but we just like to stick blasters in. Of course, the hair isn't quite as good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but look, I mean, the quality of the shoes and the color of the paint, everything looks so much better on this one that's in this two pack from just a couple of years later. And then the final Leia that we opened up today is the uh, Jabba's Prisoner uh, Leia. I think that's how it's marked on the card. Uh, often referred to as Slave Leia or uh, I've heard it referred to as Hut Slayer Leia. I think that's one of the most awesome moments for Leia in all of Star Wars, her taking out Jabba the Hut. And so this does, I mean, maybe this is a bothersome <laughs> accessory, the, the chain thing. It'd be really cool if this chain had a little bit more well, chain-like material, like some of the newer figures uh, do, uh, like uh, Baze uh, from Rogue One comes with a chain linking some of his stuff. I think um, if this was an actual chain and if it was long enough and you had it with a Jabba that you could actually pose the figures like that, uh, that would be cool. Uh, the paint on this one is really good. There's actually, I had two of these, one with a hologram and one with a film strip, and this one with the film strip actually had uh, better gold paint on all the uh, pieces here and so uh, I think it's a nice figure I kind of wish that I had most of these though still on the card uh, this is the only one that I could get to stand up on my uh, turntable so it's the only one that I could get to actually get 360 degree views pretty well all the other ones kind of the other layers just don't really want to stand up and I should probably pick up some stands if I'm going to open up my figures. That's it for today. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you'll know when the next batch of Power of the Force figures are opened up. Also, we want to hear from you. Comment with your thoughts on these Leia figures. Did you love them or hate them? Let us know and thanks for watching.